What up, y'all? All right, so I'm looking real fucking dusty, but whatever. I'm gonna get this content. Today's episode, we talking about how I went to a psychedelic museum on shrooms. So if y'all follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm trying to finish my 50 states. So I went to Denver not too long ago. Now when I went, I knew that I was going to the psychedelic museum because I had looked the shit up before I went. I am a super planner when it comes to trips, so I wanted to make sure that I had some good activities. I went to Meow Wolf. I think they have locations in other states as well, so y'all can definitely look that up if there's a Meow Wolf that's close to you. Then by all means, slide because that shit was a good time. How much did I eat? I want to say, and this is me completely like eyeballing it, I probably had like, like four grams. Honestly, I think it was more than that because for as long as I was high as hell, no, no, it could have been a three five. Okay, this is another thing I do want to address. It's super tangent, but it's important. The strand of mushroom matters because as I told y'all in a previous video, every mushroom strand has its own like potency it has its own effect some strands are stronger than others i'm still working on this penis envy strand that i bought a while ago I'm saying that to say that two grams of penis envy would be way stronger than two grams of another strand that's not as strong or potent the strand matters i have penis envy y'all can look it up i probably ate anywhere between two and four grams probably on the higher end of the spectrum because of the amount of time i was high for tickets to the museum was about forty dollars per person and we picked a 10 20 time slide i recommend that if y'all are gonna go to meow wolf because it's so interactive and because it's like so much stuff to do there get you a ticket time that's like hours before they close we got there at like 10 o'clock I think the museum closed around like 11.30 or 12 or something like that. But it was a fire ass experience. I honestly wish we would have went earlier because then we would have been able to just, you know, take it in and enjoy it a lot longer. I don't have no complaints about this place. Not a one. Was it worth the money? Yes. Was it easy to get to? Yes. Was parking a bitch? No. Were the employees that worked there cool as fuck? Yes. Was it clean? Yes. What, did they require people to wear a mask? Yes. Was it a decent environment? Yes. Do I feel like it was crowded? No. Was it easy to social distance in there? Yes. Would I go back? Yes. 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 When I say I don't have no complaints, I don't have no complaints. I did love that the museum was very interactive and it was very stimulating. Visually stimulating, you could touch things, you could do things. Like it was just so much stuff to do. Like some rooms you could crawl under walls to get into another room. And I love the fact that I could get lost in there. Go through one door, to take me through another door, to take me through another door. And when I tried to get lost the same way again, like I went back to the starting point and I could not get lost again the same way. And I did not find the same rooms. I found a whole different set of rooms. Like it was, it was a good ass time. It was this one room that we went in, me and my best friend, we high as shit. The room was just so calming, you know what I mean? Like, we went in there, we sat down. It was just so relaxing. Like, and then on top of that, there was other people that was there that was high on so many other drugs because people was asking us like, you It was other people in there, and I ain't gonna hold you. Imagine being in a museum, you high as hell. There's other people around you who are also high as hell. It was a great time. I, 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 I would highly recommend it. I definitely think it was good. Go 
would you enjoy it if you were sober? Absolutely. Because there's still a lot of shit to do in there. I will say that this place was also like kid friendly as well. Like, like I would take I would take kids there, I would take teenagers there. Like I think it's every age appropriate. Because it's like nothing in there that's like explicit. It's all just like interactive, it's fun, and it's like very stimulating. Now, one thing as a creative that I did notice like when I was in there, and I'm like, oh, I know how they made this, I know how they made this. There's one portion of the museum where they have like a lot of epoxy art. Now, I don't know if y'all know what that is, but like resin and epoxy, a lot of people make like different stuff. Some people make like keychains and like combs and pigs and dominoes like people make a lot of stuff with epoxy all the colors was like hella stimulated it was just oh it was a grand experience i love that shit and i would definitely go back again when we left the museum we went somewhere else but it wasn't stimulating but my shrooms was still hitting and i was like enjoying myself and then somebody blew my shit i was drinking or whatever the drinking did not affect my trip at all i fucked up and i was like all right I want to go to sleep. I'm going to see if I can go to sleep on these bitches. That is a terrible idea. Do not try to go to sleep when your shrooms is hit. You just got to come down from the bitches. Like, don't take them if you don't intend to be up. Or at least don't do a lot if you don't intend to be up for an extended period of time. Because I tried to go to sleep and that was a terrible idea. Because I couldn't go to sleep. I was close my eyes. Shrooms hitting. No sleep. <laughs> like, I was kind of annoyed because, like, I wanted to turn it off like okay we left the museum we dangled we drank we gonna go to sleep now and she was like now this is good he wants to kick it with us he's kicking it with us I'm just like so I had to find shit to do <laughs> but yeah now as a result I do want to find other psychedelic museums in other cities and other states and I think it's I think I'm gonna start incorporating some type of visual and interactive stimulant for the upcoming trip that I have when it comes to doing shows. Because that was just such a great experience for me. Um, one thing that I know that I probably enjoy is like ice castles. There are four or five states that have ice castles. Oh, I'm gonna do some shows when I go to this ice castle. I know it's one that's not too far from me, but it's in Wisconsin because that's close to me and you know, it'll be something different too. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch y'all. Good, good, on the flip side. Peace out.